blew it. I totally blew it. Uh, it's 8.30. I came into this spot on my kayak. I had a terrible time this morning. The tide was ripping, and I got stuck in a big blowdown. I couldn't get out. It took me about 15 minutes to get out of the tree. It was terrible. I almost flipped my kayak in the dark. Not fun. I hit the rattling horns, and just as soon as I hit them, I mean quick, he was on me. I wasn't ready, and it was honestly probably a little too dark, because I didn't even get a super good look at him. It was still kind of dark. I could see he had a huge body, and his rack was really tall. It was a really big buck. That's the buck I was hunting. Last year at the end of the season, I found his rubs and scrapes. And I hung this set in, in August, I think. And I, this is the first time I've come in here. I waited for the rut. I did everything right. I waited for the perfect win, a nice temperature drop. I hadn't been in here in two months. I'm in the perfect tree. Everything was perfect. I rattled. He came in just like he was supposed to. 15 yards. And I was messing with the camera trying to get it on him. He saw me. Gone. Man, that is so frustrating. You put in so much work. Blood, sweat, and tears. Well, maybe not tears, but blood and sweat for sure. Especially with all the mosquitoes out here. Lord knows I've donated enough of my blood to these swamps. I work so hard to find these bugs. It's not easy. It's very pressured public land. And in southern Georgia, we just don't have a whole lot of huge bugs. And another crappy part, I had a camera here that's been cooking for two months or however long I however long it's been since I set up the tree for my tree saddle and I don't see it I think somebody came in here and stole it it's pretty bad to come in here and steal it this is a lot of work to get back here I didn't lock it down because I thought I was not going to encounter many people and the people that would work this hard to get back this deep they would have a little respect for another hunter that that did the same thing, but I guess not. I guess there's no honor among thieves, right? That's it for me today. I did not get a deer, obviously. However, I did lay eyes on that big buck. Another good thing that came out of today, my trail camera did not get stolen, so I apologize to the uh, hunters here for thinking you were bad people. You are not. Another piece of good news, I think I got that buck on camera. And he's not as big as I thought he was. He's still a good buck. He's a shooter. I would absolutely shoot him right now. Still a great buck for our area. So I'm not quite as bummed. And another good thing that came out of it, this is a target-rich environment. I got multiple bucks coming into this spot. So I cannot wait to get back and hunt it again. I've got multiple setups on that 
little spot that I was this morning. So I'm going to let this one cool, wait for a different wind, hunt it on a different wind, and come at that buck from a different angle and see if I can get him. I feel confident. I feel good about this spot. I feel good about getting, getting my hands on that deer. I'm going to get that deer. Now I've got two solid bucks to go after. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this wasn't too boring. Sorry I didn't get to shoot that deer this morning on camera. I really, really, really wanted to. I worked so hard for this. So it's a little frustrating to not be able to seal the deal when he was so close. But that's hunting. That's bow hunting. That's how it goes. If you got one every time you win, it wouldn't be any fun. That's it for me today. Remember, you guys do something outside. Go hiking, go biking, go fishing, go hunting, go camping, go hammocking, go do something, just get outdoors.